You've seen her in Ocean's 8, Crazy Rich Asians, and The Farewell, for which she won a Best Actress Golden Globe. Aquafina is probably the most exciting cultural figure today. Born in New York, she has Chinese-Korean parents and studied Mandarin for two years in Beijing. That ability to speak Chinese is demonstrated in The Farewell, in which she plays Billy, a young American writer who finds out that her grandmother in China is dying, but is told by her family not to tell her. To tell us that story is Laura de Belgique, and I'm very pleased to welcome her as our first contributing editor at The China Current. For you, was it more comedy or was it more drama? So I would describe The Farewell as a very thoughtful drama and gentle comedy. It really beautifully combines neurons, contrast and emotional depth, all made with subtle humor. For example, there is a very powerful scene of Billy, the main character, and her grandmother, Nai Nai, um, where Nai Nai explains to Billy how on one hand, as you grow older, it is good to have someone that takes care of you. But on the other hand, a woman should be self-sufficient and independent. Let's talk about Billy more because she is an American-born Chinese who's caught up between the culture of her home and the culture of her ancestors. How does that reveal itself through the illness that her grandmother mother her nai nai is going through and the decision that the family has made not to tell her that she's sick. So the farewell really skillfully navigates the way Asian Americans struggle with their own foreignness wherever they go and especially with the notion of collectiveness that runs almost counter Western heritage. Now speaking about the film in a different context through a personal lens, you've lived studied and worked in China. What does it mean to be a modern young Chinese today? Are they any different to young people everywhere else? Being young is everywhere the same and I think it doesn't matter whether you are in China or in the US or in Europe, it is all the same. We have the same struggles, we enjoy the same things. But in this movie, I think it really handles the small details of what it means to be living in China. It all comes out in small details. By not telling their grandmother that she's sick, they are actually taking responsibility for her. And in the family's eyes, it is the family's duty to carry her burden. And I think that is a concept that is very hard for Westerners to understand. I don't believe that the concept and the practice of family is exclusive to Chinese or Asians. I do, however, believe that in China, family has long been and still is a key component within Chinese society. And as portrayed in this movie, many aspects of Chinese life are still tied to parents and ancestors. Let's finish with this because that scene where the whole family is gathered around the dining table is very special. You have Nai Nai very much the focus or the attention, but different generations together. What do you take from that? I don't think it really brings all the attention to Nai Nai. I think it's all equal, all members, because it's also a round table. And I think here in that particular case, I think it really emphasizes more the relationship, the important relationship that exists between Nai Nai and her granddaughter, Billy. And, and in that way, this, this is a great way of comparing, contrasting the younger and the older generation, and also to showing the strong bond that exists between the two. Hi, I'm James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.